Alice Cooper, Detroit Stories. Over the last 12 months, we've had some great albums from rock's elder statesmen. ACDC, Blue Oyster Cult, Deep Purple, Bruce Springsteen, Paul Weller, and Detroit Stories is right up there with the very best of them. At 73 years old, Alice still rocks. The album is loud, brash, in your face, and shot through with Mr. Cooper's unique sense of humour. It's Alice doing what he does best and having a blast while doing it. The narrative for the album is it's Alice's tribute to his birthplace and where he returned in 1970 with the original Alice Cooper band and legendary producer Bob Ezrin. They had abandoned Los Angeles and its hippie flower power ideals and gone back to Detroit, the place that gave birth to hard rock, garage rock, soul, funk, punk and a lot more. Cooper says Detroit was the only place that recognised our guitar-driven hard rock sound and our crazy stage show. We felt like we'd come home. For the album, Cooper has assembled some authentic Motor City musicians. He got Wayne Kramer from the MC5, jazz legend Paul Randolph on bass, Johnny Baddanjek from the Detroit Wheels, Joe Bonamassa, original Alice Cooper band members Michael Bruce, Dennis Dunaway and Neil Smith, Grand Funk legend Mark Farner and U2's Larry Mullen. I'd like to give a special mention here for Wayne Kramer. For those who don't know, Wayne was one of the members of the MC5, the Motor City 5. One of, if not the first, punk rock bands. The three albums they made are just are just stunning, especially the first one, Kick Out The Jams. Anyway, Wayne's playing on Detroit Stories is awesome. If you want anyone to capture that raw Detroit garage rock sound, Wayne Kramer is your man. Detroit Stories is 15 tracks long, and here are some of the highlights for me. Track 1 is a driving, crunchy cover of the Velvet Underground's Rock and Roll, and you can hear immediately what a fantastic job Bob Ezrin has done. The sound is bright and as clear as a bell. Go Man Go is a manic car chase of a song. It's all about a guy who's just got out of jail, but his crazy girlfriend won't let him take it easy. Go Man Go. We flew past the cruiser. Go Man Go. He lit up like a Christmas tree. Go Man Go. I sure ain't gonna stop. Go Man Go. She laughs and kisses me. Go Man Go. We ride into the night. The train comes into sight. Do we make it? I don't know. Should I slam on the brakes or step on the gas? And she just says, Go Man Go. Our love will change the world. Is pure cartoon pop. Alice Cooper. I think Our Love Will Change the World is one of the oddest songs I've ever done. And it's one that came to us by somebody else. Another Detroit writer. And it was so strange because it was so happy and what it was saying was anything but happy. It was simply a great juxtaposition. I got it immediately and said, this is going to be great. The music is saying one thing and the lyrics are saying something else. I love that song. It's so totally different from anything else on the album. A thousand dollar high heel shoes is a real gem. It's Chicago-style rhythm and blues with a little doo-wop thrown in. Alice is telling us all about this woman he's with. She's spending all his money. She's amplifying all of my debts. But there ain't one single moment that I cry or feel regret. She slides in, cool and tall. She don't wear no clothes at all. The 70s disco trio Sister Sledge provide backing vocals and the Motor City horns provide a sumptuous backdrop to Alice's tale of woe. Drunk and in love is heavy blues and it features an update on Muddy Waters' Manish Boy riff. Drunk as a skunk and fallen in love. And Mr Cooper provides an excellent performance on vocals here. This guy is 73 years old. Get out of here. Independence Dave sounds like it came straight from a Broadway musical while Wonderful World is pure psychedelic pop. Alice and his band of merry men then give a very edgy rendition 
of the MC5's classic Sister Anne. Next up, we have Alice's magnificent anthem of hope and plea for unity against what we have all been going through this past year. Hanging by a thread. Yeah, I know you're struggling right now. We all are in different ways. It's like a new world that we don't even know. It's hard to sleep, even harder to dream. But look, you've got seven billion brothers and sisters all in the same boat. So don't panic. Life has a way of surviving and going on and on. We're not fragile and we sure don't break easy. You know it's so hard to cope when you're just hoping there's hope. We're all hanging by a thread. We're all staring at the razor's edge. But we're not going to step off the ledge. No. The album closes with Alice's cover of Bob Seger's 1966 classic, East Side Story. Many people forget, before Bob became a superstar in the 1970s, the mid-1970s, he'd had a long career on the Detroit music scene. So there you have it. A hugely enjoyable album from one of rock's all-time greats. And if you're going to play this album, play it loud. Hope you enjoyed this review. There's plenty more to come. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And most of all, though, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.